Someone who I think you all know. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's not you, Atom. Okay. <laughs> he is an actor environmentalist. Still not you. Best known for playing the role of the protagonist Antonio Luna in the historical epic film General Luna. Okay, kilala nyo na? Let's please welcome John Arcilia. What time is it? Hello, mic test. Good afternoon. Well, there was this uh, very interesting topic on uh, privacy and our accessibility to our government. But where do we want to bring this country? Where do we want to bring this planet? We are all social beings, whether we like it or not. It is not a decision. It is not a choice. It is what we are. It is nature. Maybe you want to consider yourself as an individualist or opted to be called as one. Do your thing and I'll do mine, thank you. It won't happen. It won't. Aren't we all eat our meals? Don't you visit banks or a cafe? Aren't you dreaming of a nice house or travel to an amazing place, even alone? Well, thanks to those who cooked the food for you. Or if you cook it yourself, thank God to those farmers who toiled their sweats out just to grow those crops you have cooked today. Or to those boatmen, boatwomen, and helpers who brought these crops onto your pan or to your personal favorite grocery stores. There is a full dynamic of life that actually happened before that food fell on top of your table. Thanks to that grab service who brought you to your office or to your bank or cafe or to a peer, he may be annoying, but you survived it and life goes on. Thanks to those architects and laborers who built our houses. Thanks to the creators of Facebook and other social media platforms and all their staff who keeps on creating innovations for you to enjoy or express your significant daily creeds and ooh, your rants. Baby, we are surrounded by people whether we choose it or not. You are not alone and they are not too. That farmer just bought a new book for his son now and it came from the money that you've just put in the cycle. That boatman just bought a medicine for his wife now. And that grab manong just learned some lessons from you today or vice versa. No one is alone. There is no escape. Everything that will happen around you and to your society will happen to you. Everything you'll do and you will not do affect the people around you. So caring is such a natural thing. Again, caring is such a natural thing. The cycle of giving back and receiving or getting is natural. Being uncaring is perverse. It is like you are trying not to eat for life. Being nice is not a big deal too. It is as natural as waking up and resting to recuperate or to unwind. We don't even need to underline kindness. It is actually our purpose. Unkindness is unnatural. When someone is less privileged or weaker than you, than us, we naturally send compassion or a hand, a token, a signal or a sympathy or love. There may be your family, your siblings, neighbors, your dog or your plant. See, 
we are all interconnected. No escape. Which means we cannot just do anything, say anything, post anything without thinking of its effect to someone in your circle or to a group of people who will read it. Choosing words to say is not hypocrisy. I think it is prudence. It is polite. I think it is human. I believe that everything we do or say creates an energy, a ripple, and it will bring back another ripple or a big wave to you or to us. Making no choice is actually a choice. We are actually empowering the other side of what is bothering us. So wherever you want to bring this country, wherever you want to bring your life, it will be up to you. It will be up to us. Our country's progress can bring advantages to each and everyone's existence. Our country's pain or demise will make us fall, will make everybody fall. I don't believe in colors. Politically and racially speaking, let's, let us not go there. Let's think of everybody's welfare. What now is innovation? We benefit from it, sure. If we will benefit from innovations as individuals, but if it will make us disconnected, what is innovation for? What is good technology? If technology will make us dull, non-analytical, and irresponsible, what is technology for? Why can't we innovate on how to fix relationships? An approach that is something new, but the values are intact. How about a technology to make us closer as human beings? Instead of promoting hate cultures, or worse, making us divided as a nation, divided as citizens of this planet. I think it is better to use innovation and technology for the benefit of everyone, to promote compassion, good values, gratitude, peace, and harmony through our innovations and newfound technologies. If we think we don't want to be part of the movers to push the innovation with a heart, at least let us learn the virtue of gratitude. Let us all be thankful to these developments and cycle of life which were actually brought by other human beings that we don't bother to notice or we don't see literally, but are making our life much, much better. And yes, gratitude and getting lessons and getting lessons from the past can push the evolution, the innovation of humanity forward, again, depending on how we use it. This is the very reason why I think being sensible is a responsibility. Our neglects and apathy will bring everyone in a lonely land sooner or sooner. Let us innovate with purpose. When we post something, think of the welfare of others. Think of the positive energy it can create. Think of the people who will be inspired. Think of the society that you want to have, a planet that we want to be safe to live in. Thank you. So when we innovate or when we upgrade, ask ourselves, what is it for? What do I want to do with it? What is my purpose? We are the highest form of animals. We don't rant just because we like it, we feel it. If that is our disposition, we, don't, we should not blame anyone anyone why there is a culture of hate or killings that is going on around us all over the planet and all over our nation these days. 
We have created the environment that we have now. We are the one who created the country that we have now. We brought our planet to where it is now in the name of climate change and extinction. So next time we think of innovation and technology, think again, what kind of person do I want to be? Where do I want to bring this country? What do I want this planet to be made of? Thank you. <laughs>